Their second straight win as the Stings played host to Bel Air Episcopal. Let's go out to Dan Hook Stadium and see if the Mighty Mustangs would indeed get past those Knights. We'll pick it up here with the Mustangs looking to score first. They went on the ground with Kelvy Jefferson. He sails in for six and makes that look pretty easy. When Episcopal would have possession, well, they were swarmed by that Mustangs defense. No gain for the Knights right there as he's not going anywhere. Eventually, the Mustangs would take over again and again. They keep it on the ground again. It's Kelvy Jefferson. I don't know why he's running so fast because there's <laughs> no one around him. Did I say the previous TD, TD looked easy? I stand corrected. That one was easy. Knights back on offense, but not for long. Their QB throws it to Jeffrey Reyes. Second, he tips it. And Antarian Fontenot is there to haul it in. Stings back in business. West Orange Sharks defense putting their offense back on the field. You better know where Jefferson is on the field because number four has the ball. And when that happens, West Orange Stark gets six. He's in for the third time of the first half. West Orange Stark didn't let up. They let up. They led 31 14 at the break as we go to the scoreboard in this one. Well, Bel Air came back. They made it a game out of it. But let's go to the final in this one between these two. It was a tight one. West Orange Stark adds some more points. They needed it. It was tied at 31 at one point. West Orange Stark gets the job done. They do get two wins in a row. Third win of the year. 45 35 is the final. West Orange Stark gets one more non district game. Next week, the Mustangs will host Almeda Crawford out of Rocheron, Rocheron Texas. Kickoff at Dan Hook Stadium next Friday at 7 o'clock.